Hey, Scott, uh, t tell us briefly what you did you know, when you, when you went out to Portland, Oregon, who you were working with. Yeah, so I got asked by USA Basketball to coach in the Nike Summit game, which means I had the top 12 players from the United States against the top 12 from the rest of the world. And it's become a, a real prestigious game that NBA franchises are at, uh, as well as, you know, big, big uh, fan support just because you got the top players in the country that are going to, you're going to be seeing at Duke in North Carolina next year. All the stuff that we you know we were going over before the show started. What I most enjoyed was the fact that you, how quickly you were able to establish some credibility with kids of that ability. You know? Yeah, it's it's hard because they you know they don't know me from anybody. I'm not John Calipari walking into the uh, into the practice, but I think those kids are driven and they they have a desire to be great. And once they found out that you could help them do that. You know, then I then I think they're all in. And I helped one kid with his shot the first day. And after I helped him with his shot, the other guys kind of saw that and they'd be coming over to me. So they didn't know me from anybody. But then after that, they were like, Coach Fitch, can you look at my shot real quick? Uh, because, again, they, you know, they want to be great and they know that uh, they need a shot to succeed. It, it's funny that great talent and this is young, great talent. They want to become the next whoever, LeBron, MJ, Durant, name the guy. And they know they can't get there on their own. They can only get so far on their own. It, it's fun to see that they want to be coached because we have this perception of their young prima donnas. They don't want that. The kids are kids, right? Yeah, and I was worried about that going in, just the entitlement piece. But, you know, at USA Basketball, you have your pick from the whole country. And if there's a kid that's entitled, like we know, he's not going to keep improving because he thinks he knows everything. So uh, I, was, I was pleasantly surprised how coachable the kids have been, to be honest with you. I've, I've loved it. You think that was you or was it the kid? Uh, uh, well, I mean, you know, all, all, no, I mean, all due modesty aside, I mean, you were able to get through to them maybe where... Or were they just receptive to it from anybody? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a good question. Um, yeah, see, I feel like I feel like I've uh, I feel well, like I've been very lucky. Your credibility early on would would certainly go a long way. It definitely helped. There's no question. Yeah. And um, and I feel like one of my strengths is connecting with kids. That's something I love to do. And um, but I think a lot of it is the kids want to be great. And when they know you can help them, you know, then they were they were all in. I'm sorry, I'm still going back to, hey, so you think this show is good or is you hosting the show? What do you think it is? Well, no, I mean, it is refreshing to hear that these kids, because you're right, there is this reputation that every kid that has ever been good at sports, you know, top 25 to 50 kid in the country is this kid who knows what they're doing and you can't tell them anything. But to hear, you know, out of your mouth that these kids are showing up and trying to get better, it's a refreshing thing, right? Because I want to cheer for these kids when they show up at these D1 colleges and I want to continue to watch cheer as they continue their career. And I think that... Sometimes the stories that we see in the background kind of takes the joy out of watching these amateur athletes in college basketball, you know, play the game. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things that's contagious about Zion. You, know, you look at the most, you know, decorated kid coming out of college this year that's going to change an NBA franchise. And you know what? One of the things you like most about him is his passion for the game and his teammates and how he interacts with people. I mean, I think that's one of the things that's most endearing about him. He shows a love of the game when you're around yeah. these kids. Yeah. Do they all have that love of the game? I think so, but not to the level he does. I mean, I thought his passion for his teammates and for the game is, is unmatched, at least from what I've seen. But uh, the intensity at which these kids go about it and the amount that they play and still to come, like they came into Portland, they'd come from multiple games, all-star games, McDonald's all-star games, national championships, but they come in and they have this freshness about them still that they want to get better. So it's pretty impressive. You know, last thing here is uh, every time we saw McCoy play this year, it was always, yeah. you always, somebody said, imagine how great they'd be if they had Isaiah Stewart. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> All the other coaches. That's a recent trend. You know, we've seen it. We've seen a few of our best players go. Is that going to continue? Is it going to get bigger? Yeah, I think, um, I, I hope it doesn't. So personally, I love when the kids stay. And I wish Isaiah was still here in Rochester. But I got to tell you, man, Isaiah's a special kid. And I, I love the kid. Like, I want him to do great things, and I think he's going to. Um, I think the trend to the prep school is still going to continue for sure. I think, if anything, it's going to keep growing. I, a lot of times, you know, the kids can reclassify. So, you know, a kid like uh, that I'm coaching that's a junior is going to be a senior only has one year left. When he goes to prep school, he can reclassify and get two years. So it's really hard to com compete with that, I guess. But I still think, for me, at the end of the day, it's finding the right fit for the kid. And I think every kid's different that way, socially, uh, academically, and basketball-wise. And I think finding the right fit's the key.